Most of the run capacitors that we see in our industry are along the lines of the oil-filled run capacitors. But we're starting to see more and more of what I call the matchbox capacitors. They're dry run capacitors. It's called matchbox because it's about the size of a matchbox. Now, a lot of folks probably have never even seen matchbox uh, matches. So this particular capacitor is a dry run capacitor. Even though these are both run capacitors and they look very different, the characteristics of these two capacitors is very similar. Characteristics such as microfarad rating and voltage. Now on the Titan Pro capacitor we had talked previously about how these particular capacitors might be rated 440 slash 370 volts. We can see that in the matchbox capacitors as well. Now why would we use this capacitor versus this one or vice versa? This particular capacitor is rated seven and a half microfarads. Compare the sizes of these two capacitors. And this particular capacitor is rated five microfarad. You can see how this is much more compact than what we see here. Now with the dry capacitors, we'll see those as single rated. So we won't have a dual rated dry capacitor. We won't have, for example, a 35.5 because of its compact size. Can't handle that. Now this is designed in such a way that uh, it is very compact. If we were to look at the inside of this particular capacitor, we would see that there's a coil inside of this. And that coil, whether it's inside of this or inside of the oil-filled capacitor, that is what's going to determine the capacitance. And the coil, it's a polypropylene metallized film, similar to what's in the oil-filled, but it takes a certain amount of surface area in order to achieve a certain microfarad rating. So on these dry run capacitors, I'm limited in terms of how much microfarad rating I can get out of it because of the small size that we see. So not only am I limited in terms of the microfarad rating, but I also can't go very high in voltage. So we'll typically see 440 volts as the maximum voltage on most of these. And a lot of times we'll see that voltage to be less than that. So the advantage to this dry run capacitor is its size. And we'll see these mounted to draft inducers, for example, when they require PSC motors so that I can attach this small capacitor to that draft inducer and not take up much additional space inside of the furnace. So now when selecting the replacement dry run capacitor, we use the same characteristics that we use with the oil filled. We want to make certain that we're matching what the motor calls for. So I hesitate to advise people that when they're looking for a replacement, well, what does the old capacitor say? I much prefer looking at what the motor nameplate says in terms of what it requires for capacitance and capacitor voltage, rather than relying upon the correct capacitor having been installed previously. So once you select, once you determine the proper capacitance, you select the replacement based upon the microfarad rating and the voltage rating just as you would an oil-filled capacitor. 
always replace with the correct microfarad rating. Don't go up, don't go down, because you will change the efficiency of the motor and you're not going to improve the efficiency by putting a different capacitor on that. If you could improve the efficiency, the manufacturer would have done that when they designed that draft inducer or the motor for that draft inducer. So use the correct microfarad rating, but you can always go up in voltage. Never go down, but you can go up in voltage. Now, just like an oil-filled run capacitor, you can check the microfarad rating of the capacitor to see if the capacitor is at the level that's required for the motor. And you can do that similarly to what you did with the oil-filled. I take my meter, turn my meter on, and set it on microfarads. This particular capacitor is rated 7.5 mic. So if I check across these terminals, that will identify the microfarad rating of this particular capacitor. This is reading 7.45, which is perfectly fine. This is for mounting. This is not a terminal that is electrically connected internally on the capacitor. Now, some capacitors may have four terminals. These two are common to each other, as are these two common to each other. And we would check the microfarad rating similarly. So the same criteria is used when you're selecting a replacement dry run capacitor as when you're selecting a oil-filled run capacitor. Use the correct microfarad rating and never select one that is lower in voltage rating than what the motor nameplate calls for when it comes to the capacitor volts. We appreciate you participating today. We hope to have you around for additional videos that we're pr providing. Thank you.